Saturday, September 6th, morning. Hello, friends, and welcome back to more Lake. It has been so long since I last filmed an episode of this. I'm honestly very, very embarrassed. Um, yeah. Foreman P.O., how about a pet peeve to start the weekend? Or will it be a positive? Tina Banks has the answer. Okay, I don't remember how to play this game. Uh, how is everyone? Yes, there we go. Now I'm remembering. Oh yeah, it's the car driving simulator part. How is everyone? I literally have not filmed an episode in like four months. That's a lot. That's inappropriate. I'm, I'm ashamed of myself. I'm not ashamed of myself. I've had a lot going on. Um, it's amazing how, you know, like during the pandemic, we all, you know, added new things to our lives that aren't part of, um, aren't part of our old routines. And I know for me, part of that was I discovered gaming. I discovered uh, uh, Let's Plays. I discovered Twitch. I discovered all of that. And um, yeah, I definitely, um, now that I, I have to be back at my bartending gig, or I have been, <laughs> uh, more, more news to follow, uh, and auditioning and, you know, or trying to anyway, I, uh, <laughs> It's amazing how, you know, you end up overbooking yourself. What? April overbooking themselves? I'm shocked. Yeah, yeah, I know. Everyone's everyone's totally shocked that that's something I've done. Um, but yeah, you know, trying to continue streaming five nights a week. Back to... Back. A is not go forward, April. I know it's your name, but it's not the truth. It's amazing how, um, you know... Time then can fly, and you end up not filming your Let's Play that you're very much enjoying uh, for four months. I had two episodes literally just sitting in, in the can that I have now uploaded, <laughs> but those are both from recorded in February, I believe. It is now June, um, but I'm really happy to be back. I hope you guys are happy to have me back. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so fingers crossed I can keep up with doing everything now. Um, I, I'm kind of in a position right now where uh, work has slowed down because I broke my elbow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is the thing I've done. I broke my elbow rollerblading. So, um, you know, at least for the last couple weeks, I've just been basically going to doctors and not working as much. Um, we're on 2nd Street, so it's this one. Oh, we only have two packages today. Um, so yeah, I, on the one hand, I'm very sad to have broken my elbow. I kind of need to be at work right now. Um, but at the same time, I'm really grateful that it's given me the opportunity to get back to filming a little bit and, and doing other things. Um, no, no answer. All right, no answer. That's, uh, that's, that's, you know... New York, except they don't even ring your bell and they don't wait for you at all. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited to be playing this game some more and, and get to see what's going to happen next. I'm hoping to get back to it with Catherine again um, in a little bit. But I got to admit, I um, with the Catherine Let's Play, I got so discouraged because I was so bad at the, um, the mini game. But a lot of people on my stream have been encouraging me. They've been just like, April, play it whatever... Play it whatever difficulty you like. So before I continue with that one, I'm going to make sure I go in and change the difficulty, even if I have to maybe go back and retrace my steps a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to be back with Lake. I love Lake. This game is so calming. Okay, it doesn't look like anything's up here, I don't think. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and drive up and just see. Um, yeah, no, there's nothing up here. I'm still going to drive up here because you can't stop me. You're not my mom. Um, I've started a whole thing on stream where we've been making your mom jokes lately. And, oh, wait, there's a church up here? It's so pretty. Oh, I remember this place. Do I, can I do anything with it? Um, I will say that I have, um, oh, I can't. I can't go inside. Oh, it looks so pretty. Why did they set it up if there's nothing to do here? I wonder. Um, 
I'm gonna walk around it just because I feel like it. Because I feel like it. And yet again, you're not my mom. You can't tell me what to do. Only my mom can tell me what to do. And I love her very much. Mom, if you're watching this, hi. Um, mom, if you're watching this and you tell me you watched this, I will give you $5. Because I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt she'll watch this. <laughs> I love her so much. My mom lives in, um, is this doxing if I tell you? No, I'll tell you what city she lives in. Uh, she lives in St. Augustine, Florida. And um, she just has the best home. And she's married to a really nice guy. I love her so much. Um, we've been like, honestly, not just mother and daughter. We've been like best friends for so long. Uh, I trust her with my with my life. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, that's my story. Okay, wait, so I got to unlock like a little map marker. I wonder if that means I can like fast travel there or something. All right, well, let's continue on with, you know, delivering mail, which is supposedly my job. Um, I was telling you guys I have a your mom, jo I make a lot of your mom jokes on my Twitch channel lately. We started a your mom counter. So um, everyone from my stream who watches this, uh, tell me, uh, say the word, say the word Rumpelstiltskin on stream and you get a free tea time, which means I just have to drink whatever I'm drinking. Ooh, ooh, wait, I'll up the stakes. You'll get a big tea time, which means I pour myself a glass of wine. Hey, you. <laughs> but you can't tell anyone, it has to be a secret because I don't want everyone to come uh, just start saying Rumpelstiltskin for no reason. It's our secret, okay? Mwah. <laughs> um, in the comments, I want everyone to tell me one happy thing that's happened to them over the past four months since I last uploaded. Um, I wanna, I wanna hear one win. I'm now going to take a sip of my coffee. Tea time. Mm. While I get hit by this truck. Ah! I'm standing here. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. I was like, of course, the one time. That looks like it's going to be a, like, a violin or a mandolin or something. That's what this looks like to me. I wonder what it is. I wonder if they're going to tell me. I have a mandolin and a violin, actually. Are they gonna answer so I can talk to them about what this is? All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Oh, no, but it might be something really special. I don't want to eat it, I want to eat it. Um, ooh, it looks like there's another male over there on the corner. Okay, so we're very close. I'm drinking coffee today. I um, ate the last two of my digestives. I love eating digestives in the morning. I ate the last two of this big box that I got from a friend a while back. And yeah, I love them, I love them. But I'm trying to get healthy lately. Ever since I broke my elbow, I'm like, okay, I, for one thing, I had to tell my weight to a bunch of doctors. And I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but like, I specifically don't weigh myself because I don't want to feel bad. <laughs> not that I'm, not that I'm like, have a weight problem or anything, but I will say that like being an actor, it leaves you with a lot of body issues. Um, so I specifically don't weigh myself and you know, in the doctor's office, you know, they have to weigh you. Um, so I, um, oh, I'm gonna run into that car. Hey, hi there, Mr. Beard. Um, but yeah, I specifically don't weigh myself and uh, I had to hear the hear the number a bunch. So it's getting me, getting me on a kick to try to get back in shape. So I used to be, I mean, not that I'm not skinny now. But like I see videos of myself pre-pandemic and oh my God. I mean, probably it was unhealthy, honestly. Um, I was so fucking skinny. Um, yeah, yeah, that's my story. Hello, I'm here for, uh, I think for the movie. Hey Lori, did you watch The Love Bug? Hey, yeah. Miss W. Yes, I did and I guess I liked it. Mm. You can say you loved it and, or sweet, good enough for me. Sweet, good enough sweet. for me. Sweet, good enough for me. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. See? Ancient isn't all bad. I love the love bug, You still actually. ready for I've Sunday? I have never been more ready. It's going to be rad. I'm in trouble. Oh, my gosh. 
Yeah, totally tubular, right? That's she's gonna think that's so lame. Can't wait. Me neither. See you then. I, if I'd said totally tubular, she was gonna think I was lame. All right, so um, I'm gonna put this back in the trunk. Um, great, close. So I'm gonna take that back to <gasps> back to my lover, the video store lady. Mmm, yes. What's her name? This is what happens when you don't play a game for four months and you pick it back up again. I love how literally every time I filmed this so far now, I've filmed like two in quick succession, fallen off the bandwagon and come back. I think I just need to not apologize anymore and just know that this is going to be one of those games that I just like, I pick up when I get a hankering. I love it though. I love how, I love how like chill it is. And my driving skills have really improved. I don't know whether my driving skills have improved though or whether I'm just a lot better at not caring. Okay, the, the turn off is over here. Oh, am, am I gonna bring more bull crap to um, Lumberjack Man? Please, please don't. No, no hate in the comments, please. Oh shit, how much way do I go? This way it looks like. Oh no, it's this fucking covered bridge. Oh no, why do they make these? I hate it. it makes me worry I'm gonna hit things. Ah. Bear Creek Bridge though, here we go. I feel like I'm just gonna slam it to the sides. Although I haven't yet, which kind of makes me feel like maybe I can't hit the sides. I'm not 100% sure though. All right. Oh shit, I just ran into him. He's like, why did, you, why did you try to murder me? Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Robert! Thanks, Meredith. And, um, uh, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. Mm. No problem. Leaking roofs don't fix no themselves. No problem. Leaking roofs don't fix themselves. Well, it was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. I am an introvert myself. Um, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Cool. Thanks. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. Oh, I didn't feel weird about it. Um, there's nothing wrong with there's a little weirdness. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. Bullcrap? More bullcrap? With a side of bullcrap? A dentist appointment. Oh. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? Um, so no news regarding so these apartments? no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Ooh, wild, wild card plan. Card plan. Wild card plan. Yes. Also, oh, you're not even tell me. Confidential. Oh, come on! I won't tell a soul. Oh, come on! I won't tell a soul. Yeah, but no. Oh. Maybe later. It's still work in progress. He's gonna make me wait okay. for it. How Good dare you? That. How Thanks. dare you? <laughs> All right. Let's uh, continue on. Ooh, I feel like I'm coming on. Woo! It's um, not necessarily early right now, but it is coffee time. Oh shit, I did not hit the tree. It is coffee time. I guess I should maybe take another sip of my coffee. As soon as I finish this 15 point turn of which I hit 19 trees. Cheers, friends. I do have work tonight, but I'm only working coat check because of my arm. I, I will say, I, I don't recommend breaking your elbow. If anyone's considering it, it's highly, um, it's highly inconvenient. Please don't, please don't do it. Um, but I'm lucky that I do get to work at all at work this week. Um, I'm working coat check at uh, Steinberg Center tonight, and I'll be working at Ch coat check at Aladdin, my normal theater. Um, in a couple of days. So that's good. That's good. I'm glad I'm still getting work shifts at all. Because, uh, I think I'm all out of sick time, actually. I had to call out sick, uh, a few months back because of, um, I had a cold. And this was back when Omicron was really going around. And, um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, like, come into work sick. Even though I was testing negative, I just... I, I thought it would be better if I didn't. 
I love how I'm having to like justify it too. Like I'm, I'm sitting here being like, oh, a couple months ago I called in sick when I had a cold. Oh no. You wouldn't want your bartender to be over there coughing and sneezing, but you know, gotta make excuses. Um, but yeah, so I'm all out of sick time, I believe. Um, but yeah, yeah. Although I probably should email them and just double check because I did have to miss quite a few shifts actually, um, like four or five shifts because of my arm. All right, we've got a letter out here. Have I been out here before? I'm not 100% sure. That looks like a cabin of some kind. This feels unfamiliar, but then again, I haven't filmed in weeks. Okay, there's a there's the mailbox. But where am I? Where am I right now? This feels very unfamiliar. Deliver mail. Taking a sip. Cheers. Mm. What's around here? Just a bunch of cabins? Let's look around. What what is this? I can't say hello. Well, I don't really see anything through the window anyway. Okay. I guess it's just supposed to be very, um, very secluded cabins. Interesting. I didn't realize there was going to be more places in this area I hadn't seen before. And already I've seen a church. I've seen, like, weird cabins. Can you imagine if this game turned into, like, a horror game, like, at this point, like, days in? And just, like, no one told me. I'm just gonna slam into some trees. I'm just curious about what else is around here. Okay, I guess it's just a lot of, is this a campground? I bet they've told me about this, like the campground is here. Oh, it looks like I have an exclamation point. Oh, no, 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 it's very far off. It's not even near here. But it's so interesting that I've like, there's a whole section over here I haven't seen. Okay, wow, this is very interesting. However, um, does not look like there's anything out here. I'm probably um, driving people crazy right now. Okay, I should probably head out. Um, unless there's something to find, it's fine. I'm, I'm gonna resist my urge to go down every single little rabbit hole and try to continue on. I'm gonna force myself some kind of vague autopilot on this because I'm shocked that I haven't just slammed into every single tree and wall as I'm driving through here. I'm not that good. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe there isn't because that did just happen. Whoa! Alright, let's keep going. Maybe I should look at my map? Ooh, ha! I forgot that I could do that. Um, How do I check the map again? That's resume. Oh. Oh, here we go. Return Lori's movie box to Angie. Angie, yes. Um, close. And then this is the map. Okay, I found it. Okay, it looks like we have a few more letters. Oh, wait, no, that's not the campground. Huh. It is a cabin, though. Um, because the campground should be one of my remaining letters, which looks like it's over there somewhere. Well, let's just keep going. Looks like we're going pretty good. Let's just keep driving. I love it. I really enjoy this game, guys. This is very fun for me. <laughs> Off we go into the wild blue yonder. La la la, la 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 la. I'm driving in the center of the road. Ah, cause I'm not good at driving. Still very relaxing. Um, I, from what I saw, it was like on the very other side of the lake. So we're probably going to be driving for quite some time. I'm not going to run into him. I'm doing my best, guys. I'm doing my best. Anyone who makes fun of my 
driving does not get a cookie. Oh. Slowing down. There's a cop. Also, turning off here. Because I believe this is where we're heading for our next area. Oh, did I turn off the radio somehow? I did by hitting Y. Whoops. I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. All is busy it rained. I did not want to turn off the radio. I apologize. I was playing with all the buttons. All right. So it looks like we have something going on over here. An exclamation point of some kind. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Oh, is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? Uh, to both. Here you go. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Okay. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Is he using that as toilet paper? Nice to meet you too. Is that what that means? Uh, what kind of paper? What kind of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Oh. Ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> <laughs> um. No harm in that, or I better get going. No harm, no in, harm that. in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. Um, nice are, uh, that's, no, it's definitely his, because he went inside. So you guys on so, vacation? are you guys on vacation? Sort of. Although, I guess you need a job for a vacation. Joan! Oh. Can you get in here, please? Now! Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you, sweet Meredith. Aw, nice to meet you, too. I hope everything's okay. Can you, like, okay. not tell the authorities your whole life story? They're on the run from something. I love how I just, like, ad adopted their accent. <laughs> They're on the run from something. Uh, <laughs> okay, though, I am very con- I really like June. I am very concerned about Mickey. I'm glad I was able to be a little bit more, um... A little bit more, uh, uh... I'm glad I was able to get her to maybe like me a little bit. Because I am, you know, I want to make sure she knows she has someone safe to talk to. But I, I didn't, I did not like the way that that man was treating me, the way that man was treating her and talking to her. How dare! Um, I can't now. Now it started and I can't stop. Now it's starting. I can't stop. Oh gosh! I do not have a southern accent in my real life. Um, I do have a slight. Every now and then, I do have a slight midwestern accent because that's where my mom is from. Um, originally. Ooh, we're talking about my mom a lot today. So I do have a slight Midwestern accent, uh, because my mom's from there. Sorry for the little break. I cut a delivery. Ironically, remember that time I was talking about how they don't ring the bell? They do. They did. Um, uh, I have a slight Midwestern accent because that's where my family's from. Uh, like my mom and everybody. Um, but I've been living in New York for the past 10 years. And every now and then, something New York accent will slip out. And I'll be like, oh my god, what is, oh my god, what's that? <laughs> it's very funny. It's very funny. But, um, I promise it's not, like, all put on or anything. It's, it's, okay, wait, um, which way is that? Okay, cool. I was about to go the, like, very, very long way. I'm glad I looked at that because now I know to go this way. Because the very, very long way would be the other way. Um, although... This game isn't that large, so like no matter what, it's not gonna be like so so long. Um, we're gonna pass by the fisherman, and then we're gonna get back into town, drop off this last letter, and then drop off the video box to. Oh my god, I've already forgotten her name. Was it Angie? I was about to call her Lori. I'm such a dumbass. And then I was like, is it Alicia? And I'm like, no, that's the character we met in Tales of Symphonia last night. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm not gonna give any spoilers in case people haven't played Tales of Symphonia because I don't wanna I don't wanna accidentally cause anything. Um but it, I sobbed like a baby. That's all I'll say. I sobbed like a little baby last night. I'm so sad. Um right, so letter goes in the mailbox. It's that one over there, it looks like. 
Um, boom shakalaka. Let's, uh, let's get out and deliver our last letter. Is this really? Oh, this is not it. Oh my gosh. Is it across the street? This is why I should probably pay better attention to like what the actually address, what the actual addresses are. Um, yeah. All right, and it goes. All right, now off to return the movie box to Angie. I'm very excited. I like Angie a lot. I know you can't tell because I can't remember her name. Saved my life. Uh, but um, I think she's really, really nice, really pretty, and I, I kind of shipped them a little bit together. All right, policeman, gotta slow down. Please don't arrest me for my bad driving, Mr. Policeman. All right, off we go. Speeding! Woohoo, Grand Theft Auto! What if I hit the car? Oh. Oh my gosh. Nothing happened, but um, probably should have. Okay, I'll, I'll park nicely. Park nicely. Yay! Good job, me. I parked. I do really love them. I love the way they did this. Oops. Left the package in the truck. Oh, I was just so distracted by Angie's beauty. I just had to leave it in the truck. <laughs> All right. Let's grab it. Pick up. Gorgeous, we got it. Um, that was not an example of New York accent slipping out. That was an example of me being silly. Just so you're aware. Hello, Angie. Back to the present. Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Hmm. Um, she seemed positive. I think this might actually work. Is everything okay? You don't seem your usually peppy self. I think this. Is everything okay? Maybe. You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. Shit, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll leave you okay. be. Okay, I know a thing or two about stressful jobs. I'll leave you be. Yeah, uh, actually, now's not a great time. There's two more movies on the counter. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Hmm. Jaws and the Dirty Dozen. Um, I'm on it. Don't worry. Uh, um, oh gosh, now, now I'm worried. Because I think I chose, like, exactly the wrong thing to do there. Um, I feel like this is going to make her mad. I'm definitely not doing that one. Best not to mix these two up. <laughs> Best not to mix these two up. Mm-hmm, great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. I'm so sad. I'm really sad. Oh my god, did I do some, did I do something wrong? I hope she's not like Oh my gosh, and the music is saying goodbye. I'm like really concerned. I hope she's okay. I hope we're okay. Oh god. I'm gonna try really hard not to worry about it. So if I'm not careful, I will. Oh no. Oh no, and I can't film another one right after this, so. Oh no. Oh shit. No, it's not that way. Okay. It's. Oh, it's it's like far. Is this gonna be to the fisherman? I bet you anything it's gonna be to the fisherman. I, mean, I don't bet you anything, but I do. I bet. I bet something. <laughs> um. I do this thing where I'll like lean in like that. I'm like, Okay, April, they can hear you if you're back here. You're, you're fine. You can sit up straight. I'm also, I'm sitting cross-legged right now. I wanna get a new chair where it like actually like helps me sit up straight as opposed to like. <laughs> um, I'm planning on getting a new one. I actually have a couple that I'm, I'm looking at and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get. It's taken me a while because I wanna make sure I'm being a good Steward of my investing of the monies. There's one. There's one chair that I actually got um, a discount on that I'm thinking about getting. I'm just not sure if it's the right choice. Um, because I went to visit the store and I told them that I, I'm a streamer on Twitch, and they were like, "Here's a you can you can get a, a discount." I'm like, "Oh my god, what?" 
Wait, where's the package? Oh, I did the exact same thing again that I did last time. I got so invested in like chatting and like talking about things that I didn't even pick up the package. <laughs> All right, let's grab it, pick it up. Oh, sit up straight, sit up straight, April. All right, off we go. Oh, did I not pick it up? Oh my gosh, did I just open this and then close it again? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Pick up. Oh, is it invisible? Oh my gosh, wait, I think it's invisible. That's hilarious. Mr. It's Mackey, invisible. I've got this movie box for you. <laughs> Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could you? Um, I need to know which movie you prefer. I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ooh, gosh, gosh. Okay, Jaws or The Dirty Dozen? Which one would he prefer? Um. Oh gosh. Okay, okay. Because all I can think of is how each one could go wrong. Um. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do Jaws and have him be like, I have to be out on a boat all day, and you're giving me a movie that's like scary on the water. But then again, I also don't want to do like war and have flashbacks. Um. Jaws it is. All right. Jaws it is. Have a nice day. I don't know. I might have made a bad choice. Return to the post office. Okay. Oh, I might be causing so much trouble right now. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, I've started, I've stopped being so precious about my car though. I'm sort of just like, if I'm gonna hit stuff, I'm gonna hit stuff. Oh, I think I may have chosen poorly. Oh God, I'm nervous. I've never actually seen Jaws. Oh, it's sunset. I've been seeing less cars on the road. I wonder if the game knows how bad I am at driving and is like, yeah, they could use less cars. I'm not sure. All right. But I also have seen a lot more cops. I've seen two cops today. All right. And work day. Oh gosh, I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous about Angie. What if she hates me now? Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just, like, instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe. maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory <laughs> you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh, yeah. man, I had that once with Barry bought me lilacs. And the <laughs> smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. Oh, no. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M. And then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like yeah. to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Aww. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts <gasps> and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Oh my gosh. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Decide to meet Kay. <gasps> We're doing that now? The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 3. Oh my gosh, yes! Were the most regretted so words excited. Cecilia had so uttered excited. in a long time. They were instantly followed up by Get out! When she saw the surprised face of the Carpenter's apprentice instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, 
Her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. <laughs> I'm so glad I get to read more of the, um, the Countess and Carpenter. Okay. Sunday, September 7th morning. Add it. Oh, this is the program we've been working on. I almost forgot how relaxed life is here. There's so much space. Oh. And people just start conversations with you as if they don't have to be somewhere else, which is probably true. So far, I delivered quite a few packages and letters, home movies, and even a living creature. I wonder what next week will bring. But not before ending this week with me two meetings with friends. An old one and a very new one. Should be interesting. All right. Hey, Em! Em! Up here! <gasps> Hiya! Oh my gosh, I'm Should so I excited. just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third leg. Should be good. Uh... I have to what on the what now? I have to what on on the what now? It's fine. Cross my heart and hope to die. <laughs> Scout's honor. Um... You, you were never even but in the Scout. You, you were never even in the Scouts. It's that third step, right? It's, it's that third step, right? I'm surprised no one's <laughs> fixed it in all these years. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? Yeah. It is. It sure is. That view gets me every time. Brings back memories, doesn't it? It's a bit different. It sure is. That view gets me every time. It sure is. Oh, that view gets me every time. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to remember what's great about P.O. <laughs> um, after school, talking about Those whatever times we felt we like. took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Aww. Oh, yeah. How about that I afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting oh. and you puked all over the rail? In oh. fact, wasn't it? Kind of where you're standing. Oh my right god. Now. Oh my gosh, it totally was. <laughs> oh my god, it was not. Hold up. I seem to remember it was closer to where you're standing. Like exactly where your hands are now. <laughs> oh my gosh, your face isn't moving. Oh my god, that was I'm funny. I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. I feel the same I way. I feel the same way. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. Um, I basically worked my butt off the entire time. I basically time. worked my butt off the entire time. That's both positive and negative, I guess. Oof. That doesn't sound like a sustainable life plan there. You okay? Yeah, it just... It gets a bit busy sometimes. Hmm. I can imagine Providence Oaks is less complicated. Yeah. Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Oh. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? Oh, am I going to talk? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm glad we can have these adult conversations now. I'm glad we can have these adult can I talk conversations about now. Or is it not going to let me? There she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. Oh! <laughs> all right, all right. I'm backing off. <laughs> what about you? How have you been? I mean, really? Did you end up going to college? What about you? What about you? How have you been? I mean, really? Really, really? It's been great, and it's been tough. Mm. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but... Turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's oh. what they told me when I applied. So I decided so to stay and do my own thing. Make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, got married, Aww. and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? 
He turns 13 in a few months. Oh my god. Time flies. My kitten anyway, turn having one. Max gave things not a too long from rhythm, now, but I Oof. still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. And then Oh shit. Yeah. I didn't mean to do like that. that. Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt I hit the Mo, like, I hit the controller with my hand as I put this down. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. <sighs> but I just couldn't let them down. So I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his shifts at the diner. Mm. Sounds like you really stepped Sounds up. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. Yeah. You just do it. Where was Barry in all this? Oh, I still asked that. Barry <laughs> was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. Oh. No questions asked. He was just there. That's great. And what now? And what now? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until <laughs> now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But mm. I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up it wow. may not have been part of my master plan, but I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most. It's amazing how they're so got to say such goodbye just, to juxtaposition Stan here. And be there for Mo, he basically raised me. I'm like, grateful I got to do that for them. Kay got and to be there for all I the built moments. A family of my own, right here in good old PO. And one day, Meredith those kids will hurl all over this rail all. just like we did. Missed out on all that. <laughs> <laughs> but she got to leave and make her own life the way uh, Kay never got to. So, yeah, it's been tough. But looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. Oh. That's so great, Kay. Uh, that's so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. <laughs> Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, <laughs> after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> So, ready to descend to the world below? Oh, shoot. I hope that she doesn't feel like I didn't apo like I didn't apologize. But at the same time, it's like... It's... It's not like I she wanted... <sighs> it's not a bad thing that she left to pursue her own life. I say this as someone who left their hometown to pursue their own life. But it is sad that she missed all those... Big moments. Nah, I think I'll stick around. Enjoy the view some more. <laughs> the view from the top of the ivory tower. Be careful not to get too used to it, young lady. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the invite. I'm glad I came by. Just try to cut down the word count on the answering machine <laughs> next time, won't you? <laughs> oh, you better buy yourself some new tapes for your machine, Weiss. Just kidding. Oh my god. I get when I get nervous. Thanks for joining him. This was good. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad that went well. Okay, Sunday evening. Oh, yes. For our movie night with Lori that I really hope we don't get in trouble for because she's definitely a minor. Hello? You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Oh, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not interested in telemarketing. Hey, Steve, you're in a hey, good mood. Hey, Steve, you're in a good mood. <laughs> Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal Ooh. at an 87 in shops all across I America. hope it works. M -m 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 Monster deal. Monster deal. That is so awesome. Oh, tell me more. Wow, that is so awesome. Tell me more. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? Mm -hmm. They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. Wow. What? That's millions what? of dollars of revenue? That's millions of dollars of revenue! Yeah. M -m -m millions and And it's just the start. Listen. I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Okay. Please, please, check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Gotcha, Steve. Don't gotcha, worry about Steve. it. Don't worry about it. Oh, 
Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited. And I just can't <laughs> hide it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna check this thing out as soon as we can. It's official. I love I horror love movies. horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing. Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. Um, you weren't scared you at all? Weren't scared at all? Nope. Told you. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Um, uh, move out? Aren't you like 15 years old move or something? Out? Aren't you 15 years old or something? Almost 16, and yeah. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I oh like tinkering and I love working in my just father's shop, but oh, no. it's just so boring sometimes. I want to see more of the world. I want to meet more people. I'm sure you've noticed, but there's not many teenagers here in Providence Oaks. And I'm homeschooled, so I don't have many friends to hang out with either. Oof. Um. And your parents won't let, don't let you watch horror movies? And your movies? parents don't let you watch horror movies? Exactly. It's so frustrating. They want me to work in my dad's shop once I'm done with school. Oh. And I'm just not sure if I want that, you know? Yeah. And you left when you were younger, so I figured maybe you had some advice for me? Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe. I think... Um, traveling... You should really give school you a chance. You should really give school a chance. There are quite a few universities that will let you tinker on things way bigger than just cars. That like sounds engineering. amazing. But a homeschooler like me? I mean, I was homeschooled. Um, have you considered school nearby? I'll help you once the time comes to apply. Sure they would. And you know what? I'll help you once the time comes to apply. But you'd still have to study really hard. I can do that. Thank you so much, Meredith. For talking to me and stuff. You're very <laughs> welcome, Lori. And a lot I of fun tonight. Older parents. Ah! Me too. I should get home. <laughs> Later, Meredith. Later. I'm really glad that I got to do a lot more things today. Like, I got to experience all of Sunday oh, as Steve's well. parcel. And another note from Tess. Okay. Hey, Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. Oh. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy <laughs> here is contagious. Oh, I really hope is it works out. Is that actually going to take off? I hope See it you works soon. out. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Uh, oh, I must have missed it. I don't remember. Oh? I must have missed it. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office. I would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, gosh. I'm very nervous now. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Um, well, the gist of it, um, to be honest, no. Uh, being honest is probably better. To be honest, no. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, Am I in trouble for the and videos? I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Okay, so sounds reasonable. Oh. Okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here. But I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. Um, no. Uh, no, of course. I mean, yes, sir. No, of course. I mean, uh, yes, sir. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. Okay, what's happening? I advise happening? you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Okay. Do you know Frank Coleman? Uh... I, yeah, he's the, oh my gosh, this, I'm in trouble right now because I haven't recorded in four months. I'm like, I think, he's the guy, right? The guy in the thing? The, the, yes? yes? Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? Wait, Frank? Have I? Oh my gosh, guys, I don't remember. Oh my god, no, I'm not supposed to do- Oh my god, I don't remember! Have I? Wait. 
Wait, I should, okay, okay, I'm so sorry. Friends, I don't like doing this. I don't like doing this. And this is not something I like to do. But this is different. This is different than normal, okay? This is not a situation where I'm like, I'm looking up spoilers. I, but I, I should, like, I think, I like have a vague memory, but I can't remember. Didn't he tell me to go give something to someone? But I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Oh my gosh. Um. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look up basically to know what have I like I just don't remember if I did I bring did I bring an unmarked envelope to that was it to the radio station guy I can't remember oh my gosh wait okay um Walter Morgan Lake game I don't want any oh my gosh oh my gosh I don't like to do um I don't remember what I've done. Um, I just don't remember. Okay, okay, I'm, um, oh my God. Just one moment, friends. I just have to refresh myself on what I actually already know. Okay, I just, I just refreshed myself on what my previous actions were. And yes, I did. I got, I got a letter for him. And it was about the bets and stuff. Oh, shit. Okay, so yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm Are so you aware nervous. that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball? Games? Yes. Yes. I have to be honest. That I'm so sorry up. I had to do that. Thank you for your cooperation. What's going to happen to Frank? What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. Oh my god. That was a lot to deal with. Um <laughs> and now here we are. Uh this is like a double length episode. But my god. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I had to refresh myself. I was like, I have vague memories, but I can't remember and I don't want to say something wrong or be be I lie to an ethics invest cuz Meredith would remember. April doesn't remember. Um thank you. I'm so sorry again I had to do that. Um but yes. I'm still loving this game a lot. Um, I can't wait to see what happens next. I promise, mm, I should make promises just in case I can't keep them. But I really hope it's not another four months before I release another episode. <laughs> because I really want to find out what's going to happen next. Does Angie hate me? What's going to happen with these apartments? Am I going to get in trouble with Lori's parents? <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm really enjoying this. Thank you all so much for joining me. And I hope to see you again in our next episode of Lake. Bye. Lake 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 Lake